Hey there, Scorpio. This is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be the next three months. What's what you can expect? What's coming forward? What is going on the next three months? Okay, we're going to take a look at that. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any uploads. Also, uh, if it doesn't resonate, um, take a look at your other placements. I have those on the playlist. Okay, and uh, stick around to the end. I'm going to be pulling a angel number for you. So you'll see what that angel number is about. You'll be able to do a little bit more research and see um, what exactly that angel number means for you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we have inner strength. Beautiful. Okay, you have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. Okay? So you got the strength card to start out. Beautiful. All right. Okay, let's take another card for uh, Scorpio. Let's get another card for Scorpio, please. Another card for Scorpio. Okay, we have release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. So let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So yeah, be mindful. Whatever we ask for from the universe is what we're going to get. So if we put out negative energy out there and, you know, jealous energy, then that's exactly what we're going to get. So make sure that you are manifesting exactly what you affirm, okay? Keep it positive. Keep it um, mindful, okay? So beautiful energy. I believe Gemini got this card as well. So if you have any Gemini placements you want to, you may want to take a look at the, at the uh, Gemini reading. Okay. So let's see. What else do we have here? Let's get some more energy for Scorpio. More energy for Scorpio, please. What is going on for Scorpio? Okay, we have peace. You're looking for peace. This is beautiful. We have the strength. We have releasing jealousy. We have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So you may be in the search of some peace in your life at the moment. Okay, or peace is on the way. Okay, let's get one more for your energy, please. Oh, this one wants to come out. Okay, we have mysticism. So, this is magic. This is magic. Sometimes this can be spell magic. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's shadow work happening for you, okay? You may be doing shadow work to kind of get through a certain situation. Maybe you are really working on yourself at the moment. Okay, maybe you're working on your chakras, you're, you know, doing that, that extra work to bring yourself peace of mind. Okay, so that's beautiful energy here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot. What's going on? Okay, Scorpio, what we're going to take a look at first is what you are releasing in the next three months. What you are releasing out of your life to bring something better into your life okay what you need to release okay we'll take a look at that cards for scorpio please sun moon rising and venus cards for scorpio 
what is Scorpio releasing during the next three months? What do they need to release for their greater good? Okay. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands. And we have the Six of Swords. You know what? I'm going to take another one just in case. Okay, and we have the Four of Wands. Okay. There we go. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. So, here's the thing, Scorpio. Do you know when they say that, you know, we tell God our plans and God laughs at us, you know? I feel like this is letting you know to release whatever plans that you're making and kind of surrender to the divine. Let things go with the flow. You know, plans, if you have something planned the next three months, they may not work exactly the way you plan. So kind of, you know, go with the flow with your plans because, you know, God may laugh at you at the plans that you're making. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's very interesting. That's the first time I've gotten that in the reading for releasing. So it's very interesting that, you know, you need to take a look at the plans that you're making because they may not work out the way that you expect. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So, Scorpio. Okay, and I believe this is actually going with this card of releasing jealousy. Okay, because you may be collaborating or you may be working with someone... Um, you may be working with someone very closely on a certain project, on a certain job, um, maybe in your career, your work as a team. But I feel like there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of kind of back and forth. Okay. Um, I feel like what Spirit is letting you know that you need to release is maybe the need to have control of the situation. Um, because I feel like, you know, if you are collaborating with someone, if you are working with someone, I feel like you may be the one who wants to control the situation. So I feel like spirit is letting you know that to release the control, to let things fall as they may. Okay. Go with the flow of things. And, um, I feel like if you do that, I feel like things will go a lot more smoother. Things will kind of run its course and um, you'll be able to take more action. You will get more things done that way. Okay? It's very, <laughs> this is a, and you know, you always have these interesting uh, readings, but I feel like you are moving forward. Um, I feel like you are finding your peace with the uh, Six of Swords. I feel like, you know, you are finding your peaceful place. You're um, more calm. You're moving to a better position, to something better. And I feel like you're... You're taking action where it needs to be taken. Um, Scorpio, and I feel like some there there's going to be some kind of news coming to you about the action that you're taking. Uh, there may be some kind of recognition, some kind of enthusiasm about what you're doing at this moment, what you're doing in the next three months, should I say? Um, but I feel like someone is very excited, enthusiastic. Um, they're very proud of the work that you've done. Um, so there may be some recognition for you within the next three months. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more clarification on this. Let's see. I'm going to use a different deck actually, because I want to be nosy. What else does Scorpio need to know for the next three months? What else do they need to release spirit? Tell me more about this message. Tell me more about this message. Okay, 
The Five of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like working with a team, working with a collaboration, there may have been a lot of conflict. There may have been a lot of arguing. Um, there, you know, I, I just feel like things just not work out the way it was supposed to. Okay? Um, but I feel like you have the ability to start over again. You have the ability to... Um, use your good judgment and move out of your comfort zone. Kind of release that control a little bit and let, you know, things just flow as a team. If, if this is about love, if this is about love, Scorpio, I feel like your mate feels left out. Okay? Your mate feels like you are taking the lead too much. That's what's causing conflicts. Maybe you're doing things that they want to help with. And you're doing things that they feel like they should be doing. You know, and that could be causing conflict. That could be causing a big strain at the moment. But I feel like, you know, release your need to control. Release your need to take the lead sometimes and let someone lead. Okay? And I feel like that's going to help out a lot. Yeah. Use your wisdom. Use your knowledge here. You know, um, don't... I feel like this hermit card is also saying don't go it alone. Okay? Because I feel like sometimes you feel like you're all you've got. So you have to get everything done. But that may not be the case in every instance. Okay? Okay? I feel like there is someone here who wants to help and they feel like they can't help because you always take control of the situation. Maybe it is that you're, you have plumbing problems. Your mate is like, okay, I'll go ahead and take care of this for you. You're like, no, I got it. I got this. I've already called a plumber or I've already got the supplies that I need. I'll take care of it this afternoon. You know, well, your mate feels left out because they wanted to help you initially. You know, they wanted to provide that little help to kind of let you know, yeah, I'm here. I got you. Okay. So um, I feel like there, there's a need to kind of release control. Release control and just let it flow. Okay. So that's very interesting here, Scorpio. Okay, next we're going to take a look at what challenge you'll be facing. And I'm sorry for my voice. My voice is just, I've done so many readings the past couple of days. My voice is just starting to go. But we're going to take a look at, at your challenge. What is Scorpio's challenge for the next three months? What, what is their challenge? Okay, the Four of Wands. Wow. See, this is love. That's what I was feeling. Okay. Okay. Wow. Your challenge. Your challenge here, Scorpio. Okay, if you are in a situation for love, I feel like, like what I was explaining before, I feel like your, your significant other, um, your person is feeling left out. They feel like they're unwanted, they're unneeded, they're unappreciated. Um, this could be your energy as well, but I'm really getting that this is, this is someone around you. Okay, and I feel like this is someone who may have been back and forth, may have been in and out of the situation due to these feelings, due to not really being needed. Okay, I feel like you take care of everything, Scorpio. You're just on the ball with everything, all the bills, all the you know, things around the house. You're just on the ball with everything. You really have no need for anybody. And I feel like this person sees that. And I feel like that's the reason why this person is in and out of love. They're in and out of this relationship because 
that there's just a feeling of you don't need me you know i need to find somewhere where i'm needed so it's very interesting because scorpio i feel like what what this is saying is to take time out to really appreciate and celebrate love if this is the person that you want if this is the person that you want in your life there's going to be a challenge for you to celebrate that person, to let them take the lead, let them feel wanted and appreciated, okay? Um, let them do things, give them a, a chore list, you know, give them a honey-do list, something, you know? But it, it, it's time now to celebrate this love, okay? Now, for some of you, the challenge is, a new love coming back okay because I feel like this six of cups now this is only gonna resonate with some of you but I feel like this is someone coming back and they're coming back very intensely they're coming back because they they seen that things just weren't the same without you Okay, they did not like how they felt without you. They missed you so very much. So this person is coming back. Um, and they want to celebrate you. They felt left out for so very long. Okay, and I feel like this is a challenge because this is someone from the past. This is someone that you haven't dealt with in a while. Okay. So I, I feel like that is a, a great challenge for you in the next three months because you're going to be evaluating. You're going to be evaluating this person, evaluating the love, um, evaluating past events with this person. Okay. So and I feel like you got a lot of decisions to make. I'm going to go ahead and peel pull one more card for this one because I want to know more about it and yeah that's the reason why we have the strength here wow yeah it's going to take strength because I feel like you're very attracted to this person you cared very deeply about this person that's coming back and um, maybe they left leaving you heartbroken okay yeah, we have the Four of Swords and the Emperor. Yeah, so someone wants to take control of your well-being. Someone wants to take control. They want to come in and help you to relax. Rejuvenate, focus on yourself. They want to focus on you. So I feel like this is going to be a really big challenge for you, uh, Scorpio, because I feel like the last time they came in, yeah, they may have felt unwanted, but I feel like focusing on you may not have lasted very long. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's a big challenge for you coming in uh, the next three months. There's going to be someone coming back, kind of challenging you. And you're going to have to be strong in the situation. But remember, you know, this is saying, and you are, you have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can't solve. The compassion you freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Okay, stand strong in your convictions if the right answer is to tell someone no. Okay, so I think spirit is letting you know to have, have that strength. You know, there may be someone that you need to tell no. You know, I'm not giving you another chance. No, it's not a good time for you to come back. You know, so that those are going to be decisions that you're going to make, Scorpio. But I feel like there's... There's going to be um, a strong challenge ahead of you. Okay.
Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at what big blessings are coming forward for Scorpio in the next three months. What, what big blessings are coming forward in, for Scorpio? Okay, the star healing. The Knight of Cups, an offer. Woo, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Ten of Wands. Woo, and the Nine of Pentacles. Got it. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. So I feel like, you know, someone's going to come in with a generous nature. Someone's coming in bearing in gifts. You know, this is someone who is coming forward who gives an equal give and take who wants to really do their part okay uh who wants to help when it's needed but look at this okay so healing is coming in for you the next three months this is a blessing this is um being immersed in these healing waters feeling renewed revived you know putting yourself first that is a gift to be able to put yourself first and not have to focus on other people okay now here's the thing there's this knight coming in this may be a knight in shining armor okay this is someone coming in to give you an offer but don't get it twisted this is just a knight okay so this is this is still immature energy, really new, really fresh energy, okay? So for some of you, you may not be looking for a knight. You're looking for a king, you know? And this knight is making an offer to, to you, the queen of cups, okay? So I feel like this is someone younger. This is someone who may be less experienced than you, okay? Uh, but I feel like this person is coming in to propose some kind of offer, some kind of love, you know, maybe give you their cup. And you being the queen, you know, are you going to accept this cup? Because, you know, she's like looking at this cup, pulling out the fish in the cup like, for real? He brought me a fish, you know? So, and there is an offer coming forward, but I feel like this is someone younger. This is someone less experienced. This is, this is a knight coming through. This is not a king, um, but they are coming to offer you their cup, okay? So, if you are open to love, I feel like love is coming through for you, okay? So, I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, th this is a knight of cups. This is not the king of cups, but this is an offer, this is a solid offer coming in for you. Someone is very interested. Okay. And we have the Queen of Swords. The Ten of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, you're trying to get a better understanding of things that are going on. You're, you're gaining clarity on certain situations. You're becoming more wiser about the lessons that you've learned. Okay. And I feel like, you know... With this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like in the next three months, you are going to be speaking your truth. Things are going to come out of your mouth, maybe that you have been feeling for months. And maybe you've been holding those back. I feel like you are going to just have this burst of energy of speaking your truth. Okay? So, I feel like by doing that, you're letting down all your burdens. You're like, you know... I'm not accepting anything else. I'm, I'm taking this one wand that I can carry and I'm letting everything else fall. Okay. I'm releasing all these burdens and I'm getting an understanding of my situation. Okay. And I feel like you're gaining more independence. You are gaining more wealth in this situation. Okay. Things are working out as you go through things um, because I feel like, you know, you have enough to take care of the things that you need and uh, possibly the things that you want, you know, but I feel like, you know, you're feeling 
more self-sufficient. You're feeling more independent. So I feel like, you know, you have all the bills paid. You have everything take, taken care of. Okay? So we're going to get a little bit more clarity on this because this is a little bit vague to me. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? The next three months. What else do we have for Scorpio? What blessings are coming in? Okay, the moon. What's hidden is going to be revealed. What's hidden is, look at this, we have the Knight of Pentacles again. Okay, so definitely some kind of wealth coming in for you. This is, this is an increase. This is definitely something increasing. You're gaining some kind of independence some kind of self-sufficiency. Um, you're gaining some money here, okay? Uh, there's something coming in. Maybe that you've been working very hard for. This is a promotion or increase. Okay, it's not a windfall. Um, I am going to say that, but this is an increase nonetheless. So there, there's something happening in the next three months that is going to put you in a better position because you're manifesting this, okay? And like I said at the beginning, be clear with the things that you're manifesting. Be as specific as you possibly can when you're manifesting. Otherwise, you'll be manifesting the wrong thing in your life. Okay, so if you want a car, be specific on that car that you want. Don't just say I need a car because you might get a, a Yugo. You know, we haven't had Yugos in a long time. <laughs> so, you know, be careful what you are manifesting. Okay, be specific. Okay, so there is something that you're manifesting. And look what we have on the bottom. We have the strength card. So spirit is really letting you know you are strong, you are capable. Have the confidence that you need to get through your situation because you are the stuff, Scorpio, okay? You have what it takes. So beautiful energy here. Okay, let's go ahead and get, oh, let's get some love cards. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. And love, a message for Scorpio and love, please. A message for Scorpio and love. We have the palm tree. Okay, so something stable, secure. Um, you know, you're growing in the situation. Um, oh, and seduction. So you're looking for stability. You're looking for something to grow and endure. And what's coming forward for you is attraction, flirting, you know, uh, temptation. So we'll have to see where that goes for you, Scorpio. You'll have to tell me about it in the comments. But um, there is this attraction. Look what we got on the bottom. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting to date. So there is someone who, who wants to spend time with you. Someone is very attracted to you, Scorpio. Um, and this might lead to a lot of passion, a lot of temptation. Okay. But we're going to get some cards to see what's going on. Okay. We have, I miss you. I need to see you. Uh, we also have a new job. So there may be a new job uh, coming forward for you. Uh, you have, you'll get the money you need soon. Very soon. Okay, I need to emphasize that. Very soon. Okay, what else do we have? Positive thoughts create positive actions. Okay, so whatever situation you're in, you have to be positive in it. I want to get close to you, but I'm dealing with other things. So there may be someone who wants to get close, but see, and we have time to start something new. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. We're going to get one more card here. Okay. Good things are just around the corner. Okay. That's what we have for you, Scorpio. So, you know, there is some kind of love interest coming through here. So that's something that's very, um, very exciting. OK, 
Okay, let's get a manifestation monology. And one just wanted to jump out right from the get beginning. Okay, we have uh, open up to change. So change is coming. So be open to that change, Scorpio. Okay, we also have last quarter moon in Leo. Lighten up. Relax, okay? And we have uh, reflect on your priorities. So make your priorities. Um, set your priorities at this time, okay? Let's get another card for Scorpio, okay? Okay, let's get an angel card for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, we have surrender. And like I said, we, we were saying that in, in the beginning of the reading, you know, you need to surrender. You know, let things go with the flow. The divine is letting you know that you know, your plans may not go exactly as you plan them. You know, kind of go with the flow in the situation. And we have learning experience. So I feel like, you know, there's something that you're going to gain a lot of wisdom on, okay? We also have courage and bravery, okay? So that's that strength coming in for you. So beautiful, okay? And now we're going to get in. Hey... Uh, divine Oracle. What else do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we have trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. This is Archangel Michael. Okay, so you are angel protected at this moment. Okay, and we have intervention and purpose divine inter intervention is occurring know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose okay so you're being protected and guided so that's beautiful scorpio um let's go ahead and get your angel numbers now what angel number do we have for scorpio what angel numbers for scorpio please Okay, we have 1717, self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, on your wisdom, on your ambition. You have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Okay, and your affirmation. As I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay, so that is your angel number, Scorpio. And, and now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If it doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, take a look at your other placements. Your moon rising Venus sign. I have those in the March playlist. So take a look at those. And um, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.